So there you have it, folks. What we've done is we've isolated those different clothing items on our subjects and we've created the color harmony that we're looking for in our portrait today. And this is the type of thing that I cover off in my classes. So if you. Hi there, friends, it's Daniel here. In today's class, what I'm going to do is show you how to make clothing masks effectively. So what I've done now is I've reset this image. I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit so we can get our correct exposure right off the bat. And what I wanna do here is create a little bit of color harmony in terms of the clothing that they are wearing. So the very first thing that I'm going to tackle here is the girl's little shoes here. You can see that we've got more of a purpley pink color in the shoes. What I'd love to do is create a little bit of color harmony with mom's hat here. So how are we going to approach this? Now, of course, in the past, I would simply right click and I'd drag the image into Photoshop and we do the hue and saturation sliders there. What I'm gonna do today is teach you how to create masks inside of Lightroom to select different parts of their clothing. So let's go and do that right now. What we're going to do is go over to our masking tools right here. And right at the bottom here, you're going to see the people option. What I'd love to do is make a selection of the little girl. So that is person one. We can see that. And that is denoted by the mask that it puts over the little girl. So we're going to select person one. And we're going to be broken down to all of these different masks that we can create here. Now in this tutorial, we're talking about clothing. So let's make a selection of the clothes. Now you'll notice that it's selecting all of her clothes. That's including the shoes, the little trousers she's wearing, the jacket and the jumper. Now all I want to do in this case is actually grab the shoes alone. So how do we do that? All we need to do is actually create the mask. And in this case here, we're gonna go over to where it says person one clothes and I'm gonna click the three little dots and I'm gonna intersect this mask with select objects. What I'm going to do is paint over the shoes like this and like that. And when I let go of my mouse, it's going to select just her shoes and you'll see that we've got a mask around the shoes in this case. So that brings us on to the next point of what we're going to do here. Now it says here, show overlay. Obviously, I want to see what Lightroom is selecting in this case, yeah? What we've effectively done is we've created a mask of the clothes and then we've isolated it right down to the shoes. What we need to do now, however, is while object is selected, what I'd like to do is intersect this mask with a color range, okay? So I'm going to drag a little color range box across the shoes to make sure that we're selecting the colors in the shoes. You can see that the color is now selected. Now what I'd love to do is make an adjustment to the hue of the shoes so that we can align it with mom's hat here better. So I've shifted the hue and it's shifted that from the pinky, I'd say magenta colors closer to mom's hat. The other thing that we can do here is increase the saturation. And now you can see that we're getting a little bit more color conformity between mom's hat and the little girl's shoes. So that was the first objective in terms of harmonizing the color through masks and using our object and color range selectors. So what I wanna do now is tackle the next subject. I've got a little bit of an issue with the color of mom's jacket compared to the top that she's wearing. I'd love to harmonize those two colors. Now, this yellow and that yellow are a little bit different. And what I'd love to do is just isolate the jacket in this case and bring it down to the color of her top. So how do we do that in this case? What we need to do is create a new mask and then again, select people. And you'll see that person two is active over here. And what I wanna do again is select person two, the mummy here, and select the clothes, create a mask, and now obviously the issue that we've got here is that everything is selected. What we need to do now is isolate those different components, okay? So we can approach this two ways. What I'm gonna do in this instance here is click on the three dots, 
intersect the mask with maybe a color range. Shall we test the color range and see what we get? Let's go for it. So color range, I'm gonna drag the color range across mom's jacket just here, let go. And you'll notice that her jeans are no longer selected and this area and that area is however selected. This yellow and that yellow is actually selected. That's not exactly what we want, but let's see if we can refine this. If I pull the slider back, let's see if this area is going to be removed. Unfortunately, not. Lightroom is seeing those two colors very close to each other. So how can we deal with this? While color range one is selected, what we can do again here is click on the three little dots, or we can go to the subtract key here, and we can go to select objects. And what I'm going to do is paint into mom's top here. I'm gonna make a little selection of mom's top. Okay, we're gonna go across her fingers like this. It doesn't have to be accurate, but we wanna give Lightroom the idea that this is the area that we want to take away Look at this, boom. We can refine this a little bit further by subtracting again and making a, another select object option here and just paint that way down there. So what we have now is an isolated jacket. All we need to do now is make those adjustments, okay? Now obviously we've got the show overlay showing here. There is the true color and all we need to do now is change the hue. So let's change the hue closer to what she's wearing underneath. Look at that. How easy was that, folks? We can also bring down the exposure and now we've got a nice harmonized color balance between the jacket here and the top. So we've gone through this really, really quickly, but we've effectively created a hue change of the jacket here. So what we did initially was isolate the shoes from the little girl and we matched the shoes to the hat. And then we went over to mom's jacket and top and we isolated the two from each other and we changed the hue of the jacket. And now we've got some good color harmony going on in this image. I can go a little bit further here and create a new mask again, select the people again. And what I wanna do here is select person one and just to demonstrate this once again, we're gonna go clothing, okay? It selects all the clothes yet again. We're gonna create the mask. And what I wanna do in this case here is play around with the little girl's jacket and add in a little bit more blue there. So what we'll do here is intersect that particular mask with a color range and we'll select the jacket here. And voila, look at that. We've got the jacket selected just about. That looks a little bit better. And all we need to do now is refine that mask a little bit further. We can go in with a subtract option here and we can go in with our brush and just brush out this little area here that we don't want included in that edit, okay? So now all I need to do is increase the saturation. I can also bring down the color temperature and there we got a little bit more blueness to the little girl's jacket, which I like because we're creating what we call a complementary color palette. The blue there, the cool blues, and the nice warm yellows. So there you have it, folks. What we've done is we've isolated those different clothing items on our subjects, and we've created the color harmony that we're looking for in our portrait today. And this is the type of thing that I cover off in my classes. So if you're keen to learn my shoot and edit process, check the description down below. I've got a link to my memberships where you can get access to all of my classes, where you can watch me work behind the scenes with my clients. You can see how I pose up models. You can also learn and understand how I see my specific light patterns for that nice dreamy look. And then of course, we dive into this type of level of editing where I show you how I harmonize colors, how I edit my images. So folks, thank you so much for your awesome support and we'll see you in the next class. Cheers for now.